Welcome, my friends, to the daring world of Diverters Off-Road Recovery, where we specialize in pulling people out of the most treacherous situations imaginable. Our latest mission has just come in. Daryl and his family are stranded on top of a rugged mountain peak, their vehicle incapacitated, and their spirits dampened. But fear not, for we have been called upon to save the day. It's time to unleash the true power of our Peterbilt wrecker, to brave the rocky terrain and ascend the treacherous heights. The stakes are high, but we were up to the challenge. Let's get into it. Welcome to the yard of Diverter's Off-Road Recovery. As mentioned, we're gonna hop straight into this Peterbilt, this absolute unit of a machine. Should be able to get to Daryl and his family, no problem. I just hope we can find the way. The last word was that he also had a trailer loaded down, so we're gonna have to sort that out once we get up there. But let's hop in the wrecker. Let's get on our way. We've gotta go up there. We gotta get Daryl and his family out of there. The last contact I had with Daryl, he told me we need to go into town. Once we get into town, we'll take a left. It's near the shop and we'll see a trail. Apparently this trail goes pretty far back in the woods, so he doesn't have the greatest of service, and that was all I got from him. So hopefully we can find exactly where we need to go. Okay, we've made it into town. We take this left, and I do see a trail. It's right next to the shop. Let's take this trail. He said he was going for about two miles back in here, so we might be on this for just a minute. He had also mentioned that they were camped out next to a fire watch. So I think as long as we can see a fire watch in the distance, we'll be able to locate him. I just gotta keep my eyes peeled. Okay, I've spotted the fire watch tower. He says he's close to that, so let's see if we can find our way up. All right, this looks like it's gonna get pretty tight. I sure hope the wrecker was the right decision. Okay, come on. I hope we have enough power. Oh, I can see his truck. I've spotted the Dodge. Oh, yes. Wow, he is definitely loaded down. Okay, him and his family for sure were having a good time up here. Let's hop out. Let's uh, take a look around and see what we've got going on. Okay, right on. Yeah, he's he's loaded down for sure. Looks like him and his family came up, do a little camping, do a little off-roading. And he has an absolute monster of a rig here. I'm sure that XJ is a lot of fun. It's just too bad that the Dodge is broken down on him. That is unfortunate. But they have an awesome spot here. Here's the fire tower. It's got to be a great view. Let's go see. Oh, wow. What a phenomenal view. I can certainly understand why he'd want to come up here and hang out. I'm just glad we were the ones he called to come and help him out. We can for sure make this happen. I believe how we're going to tackle this is we are going to... If it's okay with Daryl, and I'll have to confide in him, but... We're going to disconnect the trailer from the truck, haul the truck to town, have someone take a look at the truck and see if he can get it fixed today. If he can, I'm going to bring Daryl with me because they're camped out up here, man. They, uh, they're chilling. They're all right. So try to get the truck fixed today. And if you can come back up here and get the trailer and everything should be all set. So he said I could hop in the truck. No, no matter what, just, it's all good. So we're going to disconnect the trailer here. This thing should be ready to move. Let's get in the wrecker. Let's get positioned and let's get hooked up, shall we? Try to get Daryl back to town so he can fix his truck up, man. I know that's one of the worst feelings ever. Oh, 
Okay, we've got the truck in the air. We're ready to move. Let's get our flashers on. Head to town. We're going to try to get to the shop. Make it an easy trip. Here we go. First obstacle here is going to be trying to make this first turn out of here. I think if we can make this first turn, we'll be all set. Okay, great. Yep, we are on our way. We've got the Dodge loaded up. We're going to head back to the shop. Try to get him squared away so he can come back up here and get the rest of his equipment. I definitely don't want to leave this out in the woods for very long. I totally guessed whether or not to come across this bridge when we came up. I'm really glad I decided to turn. Nice wide turn so I can get the truck off there. We are good to go. As soon as we get out off this trail, we're just going to hammer down, get back to the shop. I can see pavement. Very nice. Cool. We're going to get back to the shop, get this unloaded, and see if we've got any more jobs we can get into. We're back at the shop. You can see we've made it. No problem. Daryl's Dodge rode just fine. We've made it off the trail, so we're going to get this thing into the shop, get the mechanic looking at it, trying to get him back up there to get his stuff today. We got to check the record, see if we've got another call or not. So as I had imagined, we did get another call. This time it looks like we've got a company vehicle that has decided it wanted to quit on the job. It's stranded up near the local mines. We're going to have to take something a little bit smaller because it's a little tight up there, if I do remember correctly. So we're going to take our modified Mac here. It's got our tow package on the back of it. It's an absolute monster as well, but the Mac is going to get to do some work today. Let's get in there. So the mine shafts are actually a pretty good distance away. I would imagine they're probably about an hour, hour and a half away. So it might be dark by the time we get back, but you know, money never sleeps. If we're trying to make a million, billion, trillion dollars, we got to get to work. You know, that's all there is to it. I did check with the mechanic before I left about Daryl's truck and it looks like he's going to be able to get back on the road and and get his trailer back and get his family back home so really happy that I was able to help him out as we make our way to the mine shafts if you are enjoying this type of content be sure to like and subscribe leave a comment tell me whether or not you like this or if you want more of it as we make our way to the mine shaft if you are enjoying this type of content be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment to tell me whether or not you would like to see more of this I do appreciate each and every one of you all. So sit back and let's head to the mine shaft, shall we? We're getting close now. We're very close. This bridge is always my marker when I figured out I was coming up to the mine shaft. And uh, it's about 9 o'clock now. Around 8 30, 9 o'clock. Sun is setting, so we got to get in and out of here pretty quick. He did say that I needed to go up the left side of the mine shaft which is right here and he would be about halfway to the top so we should be able to find him no problem and again this is just a company vehicle that was broke down on them and it's a little off the path so they gave us a call at diverters off-road recovery and we're gonna get them fixed up because that's what we do oh I see him already very cool got his flashers on all right buddy we can help you out yes we can cool we've got our tow truck in place we've got our company vehicle spotted let's get hooked up and let's get out of here before the weather gets any worse looks like we're loaded up I'm gonna hop out just to make sure we're all squared away but I think we are good to go Yep, everything looks good. Everything looks squared away. We got our flashers on. We're ready to rock. 
Let's get back to the shop before this weather gets any worse. We should be able to make it off this mine shaft pretty easily. It was it was an easy uh, easy go coming up, so hopefully the weather hasn't really affected it much. I think we'll be okay though. We got us a little bit of a drive ahead of us, but that's no big deal. That is totally fine. We're going to get paid good for this one. We just pulled into the shop. It's getting pretty late in here. This rain has still just not let up. As you can see, we've got our company truck up here. We've made it back. We're going to get it inside the actual shop and call them up and try to get uh, try to get an idea how much it's going to cost to get this thing fixed. I spoke with the mechanic. He said that Daryl's truck was ready to go, that he had fixed it, and uh, there was an invoice that he was going to be sending to me. So we get it off the lift, get it pulled out. That way Daryl can come by and pick it up whenever he gets ready. We'll pull it up under here, under the awning. And it'll be ready to go as soon as he is. I gave Daryl the code to the gate, so if we're not here, then he can still get in, no problem at all. But we're going to get this Dodge into the shop and get it on the lift. The mechanic's done gone home for the day, so they're not going to be able to get it today or this evening. So that'll be tomorrow's job, but let's get it on the lift. All right, we got it on the lift. It's going up. We're going to have it ready for the mechanic when he gets in in the morning. We need to lock the shop up. Shop is locked up. Daryl's got a key to the gate to get in. His truck's ready to go. We need to get our trucks back in position so that come tomorrow morning, we can get right back to work. Well, it's been a long, hard day. We started, it was beautiful out, not a problem at all. We've ended and it's dark and rainy and nasty, so we're ready to call it right here. I did submit the invoices to both Daryl and for the company truck, and I'm happy to announce we made about eight grand today. That is some real good money. And the old saying is, you're not really working if you love your job. We love what we do over here at Diverters Off-Road Recovery. If you do too, be sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think. And if you want to see more of this style of content, I do appreciate you tuning in. My name is Diverter, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.